Hello everyone, Cody here with Underground Metal Detecting, and I just got a couple of new toys in the mail. Uh, these are from Ultimate Finds Box. Uh, they're actually magnetic 3D printed accessories that allow you to connect the detectors directly to the shovel. Um, so once you lean it up against the shovel, uh, no more worrying about the detector slipping and falling over. Um, no more damage to the detector. Uh, and you're able to pick several different colors. Um, I've been going for a bit of an orange theme on the Equinox 800 and a army green um, for the Xterra Pro. They happen to have these colors available. So I'm gonna get them out of the package and get them mounted up and see how they work. We got them out of the package, and so you can see on these, the army green one I'm going to be putting on the Xterra Pro matches the square shaft design for that one, and the orange one going on the Equinox 800 is the round design. Now I do have the Steve's Detectors carbon shaft. Um, I'm under the impression they're the same diameter, but I don't have to worry about slipping down there as these actually have uh, four Phillips head screws to attach so I can control how tight I want that on the shaft. I'll get these screws out, get them mounted up, let you know how they work. Again you can see here this is the more square design to go with the square upper shaft and even before I put the screws in there, get it lined up, I can already tell that's going to be a very tight fit, and of course, since I adjust it, depending on where I want this mounted on the shaft, um, I can make those adjustments myself to work with the shovel or the height that I'm going to need. I'll get the screws placed in there and get her mounted up on a shovel just to show you how this is going to benefit your detector out in the field. And there she is, mounted up, all four screws secured. You can see that that's not uh, in the way of my arm. I'm not even gonna notice it on there. Extremely lightweight, so you're really not gonna tell it's there until you need it, and I'll show you what you need it for. This was the old way. You know, you just finish detecting, you're about to drop down in the hole with the pinpointer. You'd set it on there, and you see, it doesn't take much. A Little bit of a slip, maybe you got it at an angle. This could fall right off straight to the ground. You know, you don't wanna risk damaging your equipment with it just setting there, but with the built-in magnets, that actually attaches. That mounts right onto the shovel. You know, I gotta give it a pull. Touching it with my fingers there, it doesn't even wanna come off. I mean, it's not gonna keep you from grabbing the detector, but you can hear that click. The magnets are onto the shovel's metal handle. That's a much more secure position for it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mount the other one on the 800, show you the same thing here. Not a problem at all with the diameter and the Steve's detecting rod's carbon shaft. That's gonna match up perfectly. Let me get the screws in this one and I'll show you how she mounts on the shovel as well. Again, solid mount with the screws. She's not gonna be twisting, sliding around anywhere and completely out of my way while I'm holding the detector, so I won't even notice she's there when I'm out in the field. Here we have the Equinox 800. Again, the metallic handle of the shovel. You can see just as it drops down, quick click, your magnet stuck on there. I gotta actually apply a bit of force to get her to pop off there, but that's a much more secure setting, completely out of the way, and it's really gonna help prevent damage, dropping them in, getting them dirty. I've lost count the amount of times I've had to be picking dirt out of the uh, cuff up here or down at the bottom, or it just falls over in the mud. So this is really gonna help you out in the field. These were only a couple of bucks. They do seem to have about a dozen colors for each and many different type of detectors and the various shafts available. So I'll go ahead and I will link the website directly on this video, and I'm going to place that in the description of the video as well. Go check them out. You're gonna love these things.